Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on trading you with over 190k reputation points. In this video, I will be speaking about gold. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first, I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders. So the COT data, so essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and how they're shifting their orders and their positioning. And by the end of the video, by using a combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. So this is definitely a video you do not want to miss. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality, free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. Starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that at the moment we have a market which is testing and rejecting to the upside quite aggressively, a strong historical structure level. This zone was in fact already acting as supply and resistance back here in 2020, preceding all these rejections to the downside. And just lately we had a break above the zone. So all this previous resistance was turned support here. The market tested it as support, respected it as support, as you would usually expect in a situation like this, and created this massive impulse to the upside. Now, generally speaking, when you have a move like this, so you have an impulse correction and then another impulse to the upside, that is the start of an uptrend, right? When you have an uptrend, you expect the market to create higher highs and higher lows. Now, the first high in this case is here. Then we have the low here, which is higher than the previous low here. Then we already had a new higher high. So the next logical step would be to see first a correction and then a new a higher high essentially after having printed a higher low. So the next step would be first to create a higher low and then to create a new higher high, therefore continuing the bullish trend here from a monthly standpoint, creating higher highs and higher lows. So on the monthly, it seems like there is a good probability of seeing a bit more bearish continuation and then a potential rejection to the upside. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Well, from a weekly standpoint, at the moment, the market so far has been ranging in between these two levels. However, at the moment, it seems like it is trying to push a bit lower. Now, that would be perfect. If from here the market continues lower, that would be great because if the market does that move to the downside, we would have the creation of this M pattern. And as I explained many times, after the creation of an M pattern, the way in which the market usually reacts to this pattern is by creating a push to the upside, completing the M pattern at the neckline. Now, if you're asking yourself, why is this pattern so effective? And why do we see it so often in the market? For example, I can see immediately one here. We have here this M pattern. Immediately the market rejected to the upside. We can see another M pattern here and the market completed the M pattern at the neckline. So we can see that in multiple occasions, the market creates this pattern and completes it. Now, if you're asking yourself, why is it so effective? That is because it is the perfect manipulation for the big players and institutions that are trading the market. And we will be speaking about institutional positioning in just a few minutes when we move to the, to the uh, commitment of traders. But the effectiveness of this pattern is based on the fact that in the market, for every buyer, there needs to be a seller. And for every seller, there needs to be a buyer. Now, if there isn't enough liquidity in the market at a specific moment for institutions to just buy the amount that they want to buy, which is usually a huge amount, that is why for retail traders, it's easy to always be able to buy and sell. And that is never an issue. For institutional traders, that can be an issue because their orders are so big. So if the market is here, so it is almost in the creation of an M pattern, most retail traders will be long in this case because they see a bullish trend. So for them, they just are buying. If they're buying, most of their stop losses will be below the low right below the previous low. So if institutions manipulate the market and make the market drop and trigger all those stop losses, if you have a buy order, a stop loss is simply a sell order. So at that point, they have created a massive amount of sell orders by triggering all those stop losses, and they can use those sell orders to actually 
to actually buy, essentially, to actually fill their buy orders. And that is why at that point, the market can continue higher. And that is why we see this pattern very often in the market. So we don't know if this will be the case, if they, if they will create this manipulation. But if we do get this push lower and the market does create this M pattern, at that point, there is a good probability of seeing a rejection to the upside, completing the M pattern. And it would also create what we have already seen that we would like to see on the monthly. So first a push lower and then the continuation to the upside. So let's keep that in mind and move back on the daily time frame. Now, from a daily perspective, we can see that at least at the moment, there isn't really anything interesting. So far, this level is still acting as support. So we don't know if the market will manage to break below the support and create that M pattern from a weekly standpoint. But if there is the creation of that M pattern here from a weekly standpoint, that would be amazing because at that point, we have good probabilities of seeing that institutional longing, which at that point could push this market higher, at least for the completion of the M pattern, but then potentially even higher. But for now, let's keep that in mind and move to the commitment of traders. So what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing now, if we look at the data for gold, what we can see is that with the last reports, net positions have been increased. We went from having a net positioning of 131.1 K net positions all the way up to having 243 K net positions, showing how institutions have been moving aggressively to the bullish side for gold, therefore increasing their lungs and decreasing their shorts. In fact, here we had 217K lungs, now we have 287K lungs, and here we had 86K shorts, and now we have only 44K shorts. So essentially, shorts got cut in half. So institutions are moving back to the bullish side for gold by increasing their lungs and decreasing shorts. So let's keep that in mind and move back to the chart. And by the way, if you still haven't, make sure to join my free Telegram channel, which you find both on the screen and also linked in the description. So you never miss new updates. Now back to the analysis. Well, here in the daily time frame, as we were saying, if the market will create this push lower, that would be perfect because we would have the M pattern on the weekly time frame. And since institutions are already adding longs on gold, that would increase the probabilities of this potential push to the upside. So if we do see the creation of this M pattern, what would I expect? Well, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly and daily time frames combined with the COT data, those are the best time frames when it comes to the directional aspect of the market. However, when it comes to identifying early shifts in the trend of a market, the best time frames for that are the intraday time frames. So for our and lower. Therefore, what I would expect is that if this market would shift from an intraday bearish to bullish market at that point, I wouldn't be surprised to see a potential rejection to the upside, completing that weekly M pattern that definitely wouldn't surprise me. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you find linked in the description. From here, in fact, you will have the possibility to gain access to my entire courses. You will also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one live private mentoring directly with me, the VIP market breakdowns with the telegram signals, the COT data software, which is precisely the one that we used in this video, the trading station software, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. And if you continue to scroll down the website past the testimonials, you will see that you have the possibility to join and gain automatically access with email and password that you will create during the sign-up process. So I really suggest that you go and check it out as soon as possible. The link is in the description and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and also let me know in the comments below any new pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in the next videos. And I will see you in my next breakdown.